It's bizarre. Uh, it's a great privilege to be involved. I, I can't quite believe that people have actually turned up. I thought I'd just be sort of carrying it around, waving to the ducks, you know. So uh, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm thrilled that so many people have come out. I mean, it's really nice that the weather's nice. Well done, weather. <laughs> Uh, did you have a part in that? I know you've got, you know, Time Lords have a role in these things. Absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I've, I've organised it to be sunny. Um, you filmed down here in Cardiff Bay, you're familiar with the streets of Cardiff, but what do you make of the reaction that the torch has had last night? We saw thousands yeah, of people on the street. I, I thought it was wonderful last night, actually. I, I mean, I just think it's a wonderful thing anyway. I think the Olympics, the build-up, the sense of sort of national focus, I think with the Euros as well, I'm, I'm really excited about uh, the summer of sport that we've got ahead and, and uh, I think things like this are just wonderful and the Jubilee. I'm, I'm way into a whole sense of national coming together and street parties and things like this, you know, I think it's wonderful. The torch has been in Doctor Who but it was a previous incarnation who got to carry it. Yes, it was, it was indeed, so uh, I'm pleased I've got my turn. Uh, have you been practicing? I mean, it weighs two pounds. It's, it's quite a heavy thing to run <laughs> with. No, I haven't been. I've, I've been too busy to be practicing, I'm afraid. But uh, uh, no, I mean, hopefully I'll be all right. I'm inherently clumsy, so I hope I don't fall over. That would be awful if I fell over and extinguished the flame. Yeah, I don't think the people would be very pleased. No, I've got up early in the morning to see you drop yeah, this, man. Yeah, I know, I know, exactly. So fingers crossed I don't drop it. Uh, it goes on from here across Wales. You get to film across Wales. I mean, are you excited that other people will get to see this torch? What do you think it actually means to people? Well, as I say, I think it, it, it sort of gives a sense of national focus that is really interesting. And uh, I mean, clearly it means something because people turn up and I don't think a lot of us will see it in our generation again. So uh, it's one of those once in a lifetime things. And, and for me personally, to, to have the privilege of carrying it is a uh, it's, it's one of those rare sort of opportunities that have nothing to do with me and everything to do with the fact that I played the Doctor in Doctor Who, you know? Of course, because some of the torchbearers, you know, they're not household names, they're community heroes, as it were. What do you make of the other people involved, the other torchbearers? Well, I'm handing it to a young girl called Leah, who's apparently a marvellous swimmer. Uh, so I'll meet young Leah the other end. I think she's about 14. I think, you know, I mean, that's a case, an example of the fact that it's, it's, it appeals to sort of across the spectrum um, I think Didier Drogba carried it, which uh, for me, I'd, I'd have been like, whoa, it's Didier Drogba. I can meet anyone, rock stars, actors, but footballers, I sort of go weak at the knees for. And, and, uh, uh, and, and, and then, of course, you know, today we have a young 14-year-old girl who's, who's, who's a swimmer who um, I think she will remember this for the rest of her life. I certainly will.